But now new questions. Most notably, will the family of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown be able to go after his estate to pay off the civil judgment against him? And how would that work? Remember, while Simpson was found not guilty criminally for the murders, he was found civilly liable, responsible in 1997 and ordered to pay a whopping $33.5 million, a number that's estimated to have increased to more than $100 million now due to interest in the fact that he hasn't been paying it. The Goldmans have been very vocal about how little they've been paid, suing Simpson several times, having his income garnished from his book, If I Did It. Yet Kim Goldman, Ron Goldman's sister, stated that the family has only received $114,000. An attorney for the Goldman has confirmed the family will be going after the estate for what is owed to them. Quote, we've had this problem for a long time. It could be in a trust. It could be probate. It could all be gone. He's right. Look, different states have complex, vastly different laws. Simpson died in Nevada, but he may also have assets in California and Florida, where he lived at various times in his life. Joining me now, Ashley Banfield, host of Banfield right here on News Nation, covers the big crime stories every night on her show. Jesse Weber, attorney and anchor for the Law and Crime Network, also a News Nation legal contributor and a familiar face, Chris Hansen, award-winning journalist, spent years at NBC's Dateline. He's now the host of Takedown with Chris Hansen on True Blue Streaming Crime Network and the host of the podcast Predators I've Caught. Good to see all of you. Thank all you. Right, Jesse, legally... What is going to happen now with the Goldmans and Browns in their effort to try and get this money? Well, first, let me just say, you know, it's a shame with O.J. because he was so close to catching the killer, right? Yeah. I mean, he was going on the yeah. golf course. It's a shame. <laughs> now, having said that, so this is going to go into probate court. And remember, this wrongful death action, we call that a secured debt. They would have priority over unsecured creditors. So if you actually can find some money in his estate, and a lot of it has been kind of kept in the shadows because he's been alive, they would get priority to be paid out first. But again, we don't know the substantial assets that he has. We know that through the years there was the money that came out of the book. But what else does that might there be? And they would have a better shot now, on, fortunately or unfortunately, now that he's dead, uh, to be able to get that money. But Ashley, it seems to me that O.J. Simpson made every effort to ensure that he didn't have to pay off a penny. And I would assume that has included either spending everything he had or trying to put any assets in trust that may, might make it more difficult to get after it. Yes, I keep wondering, though, if all that fabulous memorabilia that seems to be worth spending nine years in the Lovelock <laughs> prison in Nevada yeah. might be worth a penny or two. And I, sen I sense that O.J. had some of that stuff, and he tended, before that uh, terrible incident in Nevada, to hole up a lot of these things in storage containers all around the country, um, which was why those thugs got a hold of it and stole it out of a storage container and then tried to sell it to O.J. in the hotel room, which landed him in, in prison. But I think that there may be some memorabilia, which honestly at this point could be worth millions. It just depends on if the Goldmans can find it or if O.J.'s children um, are not going to be wise enough to continue hiding it. Uh, Chris Hansen, I want to play a piece of an interview that you did with the Goldmans sure. in 2017. Um, after Simpson was released from prison. This is number two. Let's listen. A civil court ruled that, in fact, he was responsible. Yeah, I mean, we were very lucky to have 12 jurors unanimously um, decide that he was the, the one that caused Ron and Nicole's death, and we were awarded $33.5 million, and we're still trying to collect that. Fred, do you ever think you'll get any of that money? From him, no. He, he made a, a vow never to pay a dime. If he had to work, he'd never work. But we'll keep chasing him. And, Chris, I think they're going to chase him even more. Uh, well, I think now, now is the opportunity, right? Because they might have a chance to explore all these accounts, all these trusts. And you guys are the lawyers. I'm not. But it would seem there's an opportunity to find some of this and to collect. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.